Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> up in our kennels over here. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick update on the puppies, on how they're doing. They're doing great. Um, just want to keep you guys updated on them. Um, as you can see, they're all doing really good. Uh, they're six weeks. Um, they just uh, they just had their shots uh, two days ago. Um, I'm about to give them their their second round of uh, deworming. So they should be, they're gonna be ready. Um, but yeah, they're they're doing great. Awesome little pups. Look at them. They're all pockets. Cookie, stop. Got my cookie here. She's a good mom. She's just kind of. Look at this little guy. Hey, come on. Oh. Yeah, they're doing great. Um, so uh, they're all sold. Um, they're, all, they're all going gone. Um, I even uh, sold my keeper, which is um, where is he at? Just this little guy right here. So I sold him. He was supposed to be mine, but um, a lot of people kept um, asking me for, for for my pups. So I decided to to sell them. Um, I'm just gonna get um, something off my. Um, outside of my yard because uh, I need another male so there he goes this little guy he was great. I didn't want to sell him look at him look how, how awesome he looks I didn't want to sell him but um I figure you know um somebody get, gave me a good offer for him so I decided to to let him go um he'll be fine though he he's, they, they love him um but yeah they're they're they're, they're ready to go um Awesome little pups, um, really good, really good. Uh, I think I did really good on my first litter. Um, they all, they're all looking great. They're all turning out decent, as you can see. See, that's why I wanted to keep them. This posture is like really good, man. It's straight back, um, just short, compact, and I like his color. He's full, full fawn. Um, but yeah. And then uh, the females, they still, they're still like the the largest um, out of the out of the litter. This one, she weighs the most, and then this one follows her. And then the last female, which is this one right here, she's the runt of the litter, but she's awesome. She got some really nice little blocky head. Um, she's awesome. My, my favorite dog, my, my favorite ones are, are are that one back there, and and, and this little female, the runt. Then we got this little awesome male. He sold right away. Um, he sold right away, and this female right here, everybody wanted her. Um, she, they, these two dogs sold right off the bat as soon as they were born. Um, but no, I just want to keep you guys updated on them. I'm about to give them their 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 dewormer right now, and then I'll feed them, and then I'll put them up for the night, and then uh, they should be good. So. Let me know. I'll keep you guys posted. If any of them come open, open up for sale, if somebody backs out, I'll let you guys know. Um, and then you guys can reach me at 661-377-6325. Um, I'm out here in California, south of California. Um, so, yeah. Keep you guys posted. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome evening. And... Uh, Rate, comment, and subscribe, and, and I'll try to make some more videos on my bullies. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. But look at that guy. Look at him. Awesome little pups. So, but yeah. Then I'll make another video on, on, on how I'm feeding them. As a matter of fact, I'm about to feed them right now. I'll show you guys right now exactly. So, what I do. He's over here. So this is a diamond. Um, I like to use diamond as puppy food because um, it's really small, and it tends to um, when you make the mesh for when they're transitioning from the the milk from from their mom to 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 kibble. Um, this one kind of kind of dissolves faster with the milk that you put in there. Um, another thing you could do is grind it up. That's what I do on the first like 
when I'm first trying to transition them, trying to move them over to the kibble, I grind this up and then I add um, Ultra 24 or milk replacement, whatever you guys want to do. Um, they work both fine. I put um, a little bit of dyeing. So I have a dime right here. So this is what I use. So dime. And some ultra 24. And so what I do is I'll mix. I'll grind this up. As of right now, I, I'm not going to grind it up because um, they're old enough. They're big enough to actually just when the milk softens this up, they're actually just going to, you know bite it into it but when the first when i'm first introducing them to this kibble you grind it up you know make make mesh out of it make it like a like a like a like if it were to be coffee um and then just mix it in with with, with the milk and the dime um but that's what i do and then i like to introduce a little bit of this um um canned food now be careful with the canned food because um i don't really like to give it to them um 20 of my dogs because it, it might make them get diarrhea you know um but I, I just like to do it as um a little bit just a little bit every now and then just so i could um just so they could have like a little more flavor more more tastier to their food and they're able to actually grab onto the kibble um but yeah i only use a little bit uh, of this and then the rest i just divide it into my other dogs and the kennels um that way I only use a can for like a day and, and it actually goes by instructions in the back so you can actually just go off of that too but usually I I, I, I I don't I don't use this until like they're actually like maybe eight weeks eight eight to nine weeks old then I start mixing in this, this into their, their kibble and with the ultra 24 and the dime but I don't I don't sprinkle I don't make the ultra 24 into the milk anymore I just um, put it in there as a powder with this and done and that's it and then that way they're they're already eating hard food by then um i only mix the ultra 24 when um when i'm trans when i'm when i'm moving them over to the kibble for the first time you know that way it softens up the kibble but you guys could do it however you guys want to i mean it's, it's ultra it's water or with no water is going to do the same thing you know um whatever you guys decide to do just remember once you um give this and the ultra 24 or even dine if they don't finish the food, make sure you, you, you get rid of it. Make sure you throw it away. Um, remember, because any leftover food, flies will get attracted, and then flies land on the food, and then that gives the puppies worms. Um, so, yeah, if any of your puppies are left over or got leftover food, especially with things that expire like milk and this um, this canned food, make sure you just take it away and, and, and this, this dispense of it. That way they don't... They're, they're not you know you don't risk of them you don't you don't risk it of them having more worms you know that way of you have healthy puppies but that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i do um and as a as a for the wormer um i just go off i just go with the worm xd um like I said, you could just shop around and, and and see what works for you. This this one I got it off the tractor supply. You could play, you could get all this at the tractor supply. You know the kibble, the dewormer, the ultra 24, and the diamond. I didn't um, but then you I could you can't find the dime there. I mean, at least not the one I go to. So this one I actually just go to a feed store. So if you just go to any feed store, they should have it. You quarter and then on top of that you quarter any of this stuff online. So I mean, you know, you can never go wrong with the internet. But, yeah, I just want to keep you guys basically posted. And um, since I was about to feed them, um, this is this is how I feed uh, my puppies. You guys could take the advice or leave it. And you guys could feed your puppies however you guys want to feed them. But this is, I just like to show you guys what, what I do in my channel, what I do in my kennels. That's pretty much it. But, yeah, look. Another glance at the puppies. They're doing great. Alright, later. F and R kennels. Oh.